Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Troy. What do you know about this movie? Just on the movie poster, it is Brad Pitt. Okay. And maybe he's a, like, gladiator? Okay, yeah. I have not seen this movie, but I have seen, I think, two fight scenes. I don't remember if I just saw it in passing or if I saw the fight scenes, like, just online, just searching for those specific fight scenes. Other than that, I don't really know much of what's going on. We've just had Brad Pitt in a war movie last week. Yeah. So now we're having Brad Pitt in a different war movie this week. Yeah. But this has come highly recommended, and I think it's the same director... Wolfgang Peterson, I think, from Das Bo. Oh, okay. Little throwback for us. Yeah. So, which that was a great immersive movie. So I'm really looking forward to actually seeing the full movie instead of just like little select fight scenes. And I'm excited to see what you think about it. Yeah, I'm excited. This was super recommended. So I'm excited for it. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us in our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Ooh. It's a big army. Yeah, a couple of big armies. Remove your army from my land. I like your soldiers. They won't fight for you. That's what the Messalians said. They all fight for me. Dang. Your best fighter against my best. Agrius! Oof. <laughs> it's a big guy. That was not the name of the person, the best fighter. No. Achilles! Oh. <laughs> Boagrius has this effect on many heroes. Achilles is not with the army. Oh. Achilles. Just not even there. Wait, Achilles like the tendon? Yeah. Your mother is an immortal goddess. They say you can't be killed. Wouldn't be bothering with the shield then, would I? <laughs> The Thessalonian you're fighting, I wouldn't want to fight him. That's why no one will remember your name. Oof. Yeah, what a line. <laughs> Just a kid. <laughs> well, I think we all know how this is gonna go. <laughs> I should have you whipped for your impudence. Perhaps you should fight him. Achilles. Oh. You can save hundreds of them. Do it for them, not the king. Yeah. Of all the warlords loved by the gods, I hate him the most. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Just a single strike. Who are you, soldier? Achilles, son of Peleus. I'll remember the name. Give it to your king. He's not my king. Oh, that's one of the two fights I've seen. Okay. <laughs> it's not much of a fight. It's pretty one-sided. Princes of Troy! Queen Helen and I salute you. Oh, Orlando Bloom. Yeah, Orlando Bloom. And then... Eric Bana. Oh, okay. Priam is a good king. I respected him as an adversary. I respect him now as my ally. Is that the queen or his daughter? To peace between Troy and Sparta. Just gonna sneak away. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Not so sneaky. He shouldn't be here. That's what you said last night. Last night was a mistake. Do you want me to go? Nope. <laughs> I think she wants you to stay. And alas, will kill us both. Don't be afraid of him. I'm afraid of watching you sail away and knowing you'll never come back. If you come, we'll never be safe. The gods will curse us, but I'll love you. A lot of negatives to the positive. <laughs> Romantic, but not very <laughs> smart. Do you love me, brother? Would you protect me against any enemy? I must show you something. She on there? Oh my <laughs> goodness. Sparta's pretty pissed. She left with the Trojans. Get my ship ready. Turn us round. <laughs> Do you know what you've done? Do you know how many years our father worked for peace? I love her. <sighs> Just undid all that peace. You'd let Troy burn for this woman? I won't let you start a war for her. They'll kill you. Then I'll die fighting. Have you ever killed a man? No. You know nothing about dying, and you know nothing about love. Doesn't know much about anything. I won't ask you to fight my war. You already have. Yeah, you just kind of inadvertently involved everyone. Yep. So I am remembering a little bit more about this story just from like school. I want her back. Well, of course you do. So I can kill her with my own two hands. Dang. <laughs> and Troy to the ground. I thought you wanted peace with Troy. Will you go to war with me, brother? Joining forces. If Troy falls, 
I control the Aegean. We need Achilles and his myrmidons. Achilles. It feels like that was a different movie. <laughs> the original fight? Yeah. <laughs> I build the future, Nestor. Me! How many battles have we won off the edge of his sword? We need the greatest warrior. Makes sense. Yeah. But Achilles does hate him. Yeah, they have no control over him. Is he better to include? Yeah. Oh. oh. Already in a bad mood. Oh, Sean Bean. Patroclus, my cousin. Odysseus. King of Ithaca. Oh, that's Odysseus? Are you here at Agamemnon's bidding? We need to talk. Yes. I'm not asking you to fight for him. I'm asking you to fight for the Greeks. They insulted one Greek, a man who couldn't hold on to his wife. <laughs> Prince Hector, he's good a warrior, as they say. Some say he's better than all the Greeks, too. Ooh, a challenge. I hope you'll join us, Patroclus. Play your tricks on me, but not my cousin. We sail for Troy in three days. That was an interesting zoom. Mm-hmm. You will find peace. You'll have sons and daughters. When you're gone, they will remember you. But when your children are dead, your name will be lost. Hmm. If you go to Troy, glory will be yours. I thought she was trying to convince him not to go. The world will remember your name. For your glory walks hand in hand with your doom. And I shall never see you again. I mean, those are definitely two different choices. Uh, I think the movie would be over if he was like, I'll stay. <laughs> it's a lot of boats or ships. What a welcome home. Right? Full display here. Did they make a decision not to turn around? I thought he was going to go back to Sparta. So did I, but maybe he was like, well, I'm already in this. <laughs> that guy looks familiar. I think that's Lawrence of Arabia. Like actually Lawrence? Like the actor who plays. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I think it is. Peter O'Toole, I think. Paris. Dumb idiot. This is Helen. Helen of Sparta? Helen of Troy. Welcome. Come. You must be tired. All right. Yeah, he went with that pretty easily. Well, she's going to yell at him later. Yeah. Chrisay. Paris! Beloved cousin, your beauty grows with each new moon. What's her name? It looks like a very young, like, what, Rose, I think? She was in Neighbors. That's what I remember her from. She's in Bridesmaids. Oh, okay. I think. <laughs> I'm surprised you let him bring her. What would you have me do? Put her on a ship and send her home. Oh, okay. So he still wants to get her out of here. I don't want to see them suffer so my brother can have his prize. By now, Menelaus has gone to Agamemnon, wanted to destroy us for years. Yeah. Even Agamemnon is no match for the gods. How many battalions does the sun god command? Do not mock the gods. Victor's being a little realistic here. They're coming for me. What if we left? I could hunt deer. Rabbit, I could feed us. What a life. They'll burn every house in Troy to find us. They'll never believe we've left. And even if they do, they'll burn it for spite. Yeah, damage is already done. Yeah. I'll walk right up to him and tell him you're mine. You're very young, my love. That's not gonna go well. <laughs> <laughs> He's very high ambitions, wanting to fight all of Sparta by himself, wanting to walk up to the king all by himself. already preparing their uh, defense. Coming? Yeah, I think time's up. They're already here. Oof. Ooh. It's not that many people on the beach. No, like how do you fight this? Oh, one boat leads them all. Or ship. My lord! Oh dang, he was in 300. Agamemnon's orders. You fight for me, Eudorus, or Agamemnon. Let the servants of Agamemnon fight for him. What's the fool doing? He's going to take the beach of Troy with 50 men? How long before the army's ready? Half of our men are still coming in from the countryside. Dang, they don't even have everyone ready. Guess they got there a lot quicker than they expected <laughs> them to. Probably. Put down your spear. You're not a Myrmidon yet. I can't fight the Trojans from concern for you. Guard the ship. Honor the gods, love your woman, and defend your country. <laughs> such a small group. Yeah, right? Like 50 horses. They have a thousand ships. Beyond that beach, immortality. Take it. It's yours. Got him hyped up. Oh. Damn, already? They're getting slaughtered by arrows. They've already lost like half their dudes. The man wants to die. There you go. 
Starting to hit back. Oh! <laughs> you just needed to get close enough. Yeah. I'm gonna clear the peach before they even get there. Yeah, right? Look at him. Roll your lazy horse, roll! He wants to get in the fight. Oh, dang. Yeah, how are they gonna do against horses? Ooh, another boat of people. Oof. Oh. Dang. Just knocking over horses? Oh, that was sick. Just a one man army. Jeez. Oh. Just soloed everyone right there. Just like the blood dripping off of his helmet. Take whatever treasure you can find. Apollo sees everything. Perhaps it is not wise to offend him. Okay. You definitely saw that. On the men. His brother about to get it. Maybe. Someone got it. No, it wasn't him. Oh, that was like his right hand man though. Oof, I feel like inside of here is going to be a massacre. Oh, yeah. Just leading him in. Ooh. Ooh. I was just about to say, where's everyone else? Ooh. You are very brave and very stupid to come after me alone. Why did you come here? They'll be talking about this war for a thousand years. The dust from our bones will be gone. But our names will remain. Yeah, he wants the glory. Uh oh, that means all his men are dead. Not very strategic, Hector. How many wives wait at Troy's gates for husbands they'll never see again? Perhaps your brother can comfort them. He's good at charming other men's wives. <laughs> very interesting. Their interaction? Yeah, and just having him, like, leave. Yeah, they just let him go. These guys aren't even there yet. <laughs> So much for trying to defend the beach. They couldn't even stop one ship. Two, two. Two, yeah. Achilles! Ajax. Fix your leg. I'm honored to go to war with you. As am I. If you sailed any slower, the war would be over. As long as I'm here at the end. <laughs> I've got something to show you. The men found her. Oh, well, that's I right. She was temple. at the temple. That's the cousin of Paris, right? Yeah. And they set this tent up quick. And I wasn't sure if they, like, took over an empty one. You killed Apollo's priests. Sun God will have his vengeance. What do you want here in Troy? What would all men want? I just wanted more. You don't need to fear me, girl. You're the only Trojan who can say that. But they are building them. The tents? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, man, they turned the whole boat into a tent for the king. Whole ship to a tent for the king. <laughs> no one thought the Trojan beach could be captured so easily. Pretty easy when you have Achilles. In honor of an even more memorable victory. At least they can mutually hate the king together. War is young men dying and old men talking. Ignore the politics. A lot of good lines in this movie so far. Apparently you won some great victory. You came here because you want your name to last through the ages. Yeah. Kings did not kneel to Achilles. Perhaps the kings were too far behind to see. <laughs> I'll build monuments to victory on every island of Greece. Be careful, king of kings. First you need the victory. Yeah, it's pretty confident. Take what you wish. I already have. Damn, he already took her? If you don't release her, you'll never see home again. Ooh. Oh. Too many men have died today. I don't want anyone dying for me. He was ready to kill everyone here. Silenced by a slave girl. Oh, he just thinks she's a slave? Before my time is done, I will look down on your corpse and smile. That's a threat to a king. Yeah. <laughs> we can win. They saw an eagle flying with a serpent clutched in its talons. You want to plan a strategy based on bird signs. Tomorrow morning, I will challenge Menelaus for the right to Helen. I think we're way past Helen. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Agamemnon, if that's the correct way to say it, he was just happy that Helen was like the catalyst yeah. to gather everyone here. You love all of Troy. That is the way I love Helen. The sword of Troy. Carry it with you tomorrow. Wow. So long as a Trojan carries it, our people have a future. And giving that to Paris? Wait. That's mysterious. 
What are you doing? Let me go. I saw them burning on the fires. That's my fault. And it is. You and Paris. I'm giving myself back to Menelaus. It's too late for that. Yeah. Menelaus will kill him. It's his decision. I can't ask anyone to fight for me. It's gonna happen anyways. Yeah. yeah. All of this is already in motion. My lord, the army's marching. We stay till Agamemnon groans to have Achilles back. Wants him to beg. Are you ready to fight? I am. Mm. Taught you how to fight, but I never taught you why to fight. For you. Who will you fight for when I'm gone? Don't waste your life following some fool's orders. Everything he's done in the pursuit of glory and immortality. Well, they definitely got their army ready. Still nothing, I don't <laughs> think, in comparison to the ships. All the Greeks. You can start to hear them. You could kind of hear the A little roar. Bit. Yeah. Now you can see them. Just the number of them. Just like ants, just taking over everything. And it looks like they're reconsidering a little bit. It's quite an army. <laughs> Get off in unison. Yeah. You must give Helen back to my brother. Troy must submit to my command. You want me to look upon your army and tremble? <laughs> 50,000 men brought here to fight for one man's greed. Not the greatest cause. No son of Troy will ever submit to a foreign ruler. Then every son of Troy shall die. Let us fight our own battle. The winner takes Helen home. A brave offer, but not enough. Yeah, that has nothing to do with what this guy wants. Right. Didn't come here for your pretty wife. I came here for Troy. Yeah, different objectives. When he's lying in the dust, give the signal to attack. You'll have your city. I love my revenge. So be it. All right, here we go. I accept your challenge. I'll drink to your bones. Dang. So that's not going to be the end of it. <laughs> okay, Paris, can you kill the king of Sparta? Oh, this is happening, like, right now. <laughs> yeah, right, right now. You think of your sword and his sword and nothing else. And he said he's never fought? Yeah, no, he's never done anything. Except for talk and steal wise. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, maybe close your eyes. I feel like this might be fast. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's a cool view. Just the breath, too. Let him keep swinging. Ooh. Can you stop getting so low? Oh, oh, my God. Already lost your helmet and shield. Oh, no. You got the shield back. All right. Now you're fucked. Oh. Oh, you got a tooth. Get up. That was a very pathetic performance. Goodbye, Prince. <laughs> Just like sweep him. Yeah, right? Sweep the leg. Ooh. Oh, he just ran. Fight! Fight him, son. The Trojans have violated the agreement. Prepare for battle! He was gonna fight anyways. I'll kill him at your feet, I don't care. Yeah. Oh. Well, Definitely a war. I mean, he stole your wife. Do you think he was going to fight fair? Man, he already wanted Troy. Now he's going to want revenge for his brother. What a freaking mess. Oh, the sword of Troy. Oh. That should have gone to Hector. Our men are too close to the walls. Pull back, you fool. Well, Achilles is not impressed. No, he's not. Damn, they're just jumping over, but they're staying pretty straight. Yeah, how far do these arrows go? Oh man, they just cycle through archers. Oh, there's like a clear line of where those yeah. arrows are landing. Get him in line! Front line! Push! Okay, Troy. Oh. Guys disrupting the line. Yeah. Ooh. This dude is huge. Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh. 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 Gee. A sword and a spear in you. Or to oh, that was so close to the king. They're doing work. You won't have an army 
if you don't fall back! Yeah, right? <laughs> Will they run out of arrows eventually? That's what I was thinking. I wonder how many they have. Tanny's just running over bodies. Still chasing them out. Well, I bet you the king's gonna come begging to Achilles now. We have them on the run. We're in range of their archers. Send an emissary to the Greeks. Tell them they can collect their dead. They have done the same for us. Definitely not. Go! Back! That's a smart leader. Yeah. Do they collect at the same time? Not sure. You think I'm a coward? Yes. You challenged a great warrior that took courage. No. I don't want a hero, my love. I want a man I can grow old with. They think I'll sail home at first light. Maybe we should. Who? The men believe we came here for Menelaus' wife. Won't be needing her anymore. <laughs> it's no insult to say a dead man is dead. Just the truth. Battle with Achilles is destroying us. One man! Hector is one man. Look what he did to us today. The man won't listen to me! He's as likely to spear me as to speak to me. <laughs> Valid. He'll want the girl back. You can have that damn girl. I haven't touched her. Gave her to the men. Well, the men probably touched her. We need the nut for much longer. <laughs> Hold her! <laughs> oh, oh! He's always ready to kill everyone. <laughs> Are you hurt? <laughs> it's thrown in her face. I've known men like you my whole life. No, you haven't. You think you're so different from a thousand others. I pity them. Trojan soldiers died trying to protect you. Perhaps they deserve more than your pity. Why did you choose to love a god? I think you'll find the romance one-sided. Dang. Do you enjoy provoking me? Yeah. <laughs> gods and be us because we're mortal everything's more beautiful because we're doomed i thought you're a dumb brute <laughs> i was gonna say it's pretty profound for what she thinks of him do it <laughs> you'll kill more men if i don't kill you many hey without hesitation <laughs> the knife in between tell the men to start loading the ship we're going home Oh, wow. Agamemnon is a proud man, but he knows when he's made a mistake. When men need you, things are less simple today. Women have a way of complicating things. <laughs> very similar to the very first time he fought that we saw, where he was like, think of all the men you could save with just one swing of your sword. You betray all of Greece just to see Agamemnon fall. Someone has to lose. The Myrmidons didn't fight yesterday. Dissension among the Greeks. But if we attack their ships, we will unify them. They decide to attack us, let them. Our walls can't be breached. Yeah, right? Why change it if it works? Well, and if they don't even go out. The gods have cursed the Greeks. Prepare the army we attack at daybreak. Wow. I thought the gods were already mad at them. The gods them. are mad at the Greeks. Right. So that's why they're saying if the gods are mad at them, then we'll for sure defeat them in battle. Oh. But Hector was like, why the fuck would we go out there? Yeah. They're coming. Oh. What does that do? I thought they were waiting till daybreak. Yeah. What are they pulling? Oh. You're gonna light those on fire? Yeah, send them through the fire. Oh, jeez. That's cool. And all the boats? All the boats, all the wood, everything. Just torch this whole beach. Jeez. Wow. So they did that first and they still want to attack? I would just keep chucking those fireballs at them. That was crazy. I mean, they definitely have them on the run and like super low morale. Achilles. See, now you got Achilles in the battle. I thought you were going home. He probably would have if they didn't freaking attack. Forward! Just the sight of Achilles on their side, suddenly they're back in the fight. Jeez, he just like glides through people. Yeah. They about to come face to face. Yeah, they're close. Oh, they're letting them fight. Prince, you are no match. <laughs> Everyone's taking a break to right? watch. Now it's just a show. That's on Achilles. 
Chinese. There's no way. No, it's his his, it's his, his uh, cousin. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, now Achilles is going to be really pissed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, put, put him out of his misery. About this. <laughs> Damn, did you guys know that you went in there with the cousin? No, I don't think they did. They look shocked. Back to the ships! Man, this whole battle just stops with that one fight. It was his cousin. Detroit! We were going to sail home today. I don't think anyone's sailing home now. Yeah, all the boats are burned. Is he still asleep? Maybe. He clearly did not want to fight anymore. Achilles! Oh, he's about to be furious. I ordered the moment to stand down. You led them into combat. He didn't. Yeah, right, he thought he did. We thought you did. Where's Patroclus? We thought he was you, my lord. He even moved like you. Where is he? Jeez. He's dead, my lord. Hector cut his throat. Hector thought he was you too. Yeah, right? Stop! Don't! Oh, 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 oh. I don't think Hector would have fought him if he knew it was the cousin of- No. The next time you come here, follow the tunnel. You follow the river until you get to Mount Ida. If the Greeks get inside the walls, it's over. Why are you saying such things? This might be the reality. That boy's just saved this war for us. It's the only thing he thinks about. I was just gonna say, we haven't seen these two. No, they're responsible for all of this. Barely seen them. Legolas? <laughs> Legolas is much better than Paris. Eudorus, my lord, I need my armor. I love this guy. Achilles, like, right hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Both know what's coming. We triple check it's him. <laughs> Hector's my cousin. He's a good man. Please don't fight him. It's too late. Is he going up just him? Yeah, going alone. Hector's like, oh shit. <laughs> Oops. You see. <laughs> I thought it was you. Hector! Calling him out. No father ever had a better son. Never even wanted any part of this. No, not at all. You. Idiot. You're the best man I know. You're a prince of Troy. I know you'll make me proud. You should probably learn how to fight. He's been practicing his <laughs> archery. You remember what I told you? This whole time, Achilles has just been screaming for Hector. No helmet? Uh, he's holding no. it. Terrifying. Yeah, right. Let us pledge that the winner will allow the loser all the proper funeral rituals. There are no pacts between lions and men. Nothing. Now you know who you're fighting. Oof. You won't have eyes tonight. You won't have ears or a tongue. All the dead will know. This is Hector, fool who thought he killed Achilles. Jeez. Oh. Like a dance. Yeah, they're fighting with those, like, long-ass spears. Oh. Oh, my God. Not so long anymore. There you go. Oh. That block. This is impressive. Right? No one fights Achilles this long. Noises. Oh. That one move is so powerful. Oh. Got his armor a little. Oh, you're gonna lose it. Oh, oh not a rock. rock. Let him get up. Get up, Prince of Troy. Or let a stone take my glory. Oh. <laughs> oh. Bye, Hector. Put up one hell of a fight. Oh, yeah. That's the second fight that I've seen from this movie. So I knew Hector was going to die at some point. That's why I was so shocked when I thought he killed Achilles on the beach. I was like, what the heck? Oh. You said earlier he wanted the uh, spectacle of killing Hector. Damn. Ruthless. Yeah. 
he taking him? It's his prize. You lost your cousin. Now you've taken mine. When does it end? It never ends. Is this the king? I think so. How the hell did he even sneak in here? How did you get in here? I know my own country better than the Greeks, I think. <laughs> You're a brave man. I could have your head on a spit in the blink of an eye. I mean, he could have sent someone to kill you at any point. <laughs> it's true. He deserves the honor of a proper burial. You know that. He killed my cousin. Thought it was you. How many cousins have you killed? Thousands, possibly. I love my boy the moment he opened his eyes till the moment you closed them. Jeez. Aww. If I let you take him, you're still my enemy in the morning. But even enemies can show respect. I admire your courage. Wow. Finally met a king that he can respect. He's on the opposite side. We'll meet again soon, my brother. That was the only person who put up a slight fight against Achilles. Your son was the best I fought. Oh, wow. No Greek. We'll attack Troy for 12 days. Dang. Perseus? I fought. You were dead. You're free. And her? I don't know if she was trying to leave. No one will stop you. You have my word. You're a far better king than the one leading this army. Just like you said. I feel like he wish he could take his men and be on that side. I wish he could too. Just do it. <laughs> do it. Achilles makes a secret pact and I have to honor it. Giving him 12 days of peace. I mean, he killed the leader of the Trojan army. We have no way to breach their walls. Smash their walls to the ground. If it costs me 40,000 Greeks. Yeah, I'm like, you're not going to do jack <laughs> shit. <laughs> and they get a break. <laughs> yeah, they get 12 days of peace. You found a way to make the sheep invite the wolves to dinner. What are they doing? I can't tell you. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is there's the Achilles tendon and then Trojan horse. Uh-huh. But that would be the other way around, right? You have to watch. <laughs> Rouse the men. You're taking them home. I have my own battle to fight. Don't want our men to be a part of this. Fighting for you has been my life's honor, my lord. Yeah, you love this guy. He was awesome in 300, too. Mm -hmm. Open the gate! Wow, they're just out there? Yeah. Oh, it is the horse. <laughs> Trojan horse. I don't know why I thought the Trojans are the ones that gave the horse. No, the Trojans are the ones that accepted the gift. We should take it to the Temple of Poseidon. I think we should burn it. It's, it's a gift to the gods. Priest. Father, burn it. The first smart thing you said. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> well, you know how this story goes. <laughs> Wonder how many are in there. Enough? Yeah, I don't know. Well, Achilles is in there. Doesn't that's, really matter. That yeah, one is enough. Can you imagine if they just set it on fire though on the beach? You dummies! Why would you be so willing to just take a gift from your enemies? Yeah, and bring it right in. You think that prince had never died? You're the prince now. Make your brother proud. Yeah, should have burned it. Yeah, right? Uh-oh. What's all that? Yeah. Oh! All right. You're not getting back. Damn, how long were they in there for? Yeah, right? I mean, Odysseus saw this as, like, the lesser of two evils, I feel like. Because the alternative would have been 40,000 people slamming up against the walls and getting slaughtered. You send in, like, a small strike team. They're all spreading out, I think. Sleeping on the job. Oh, damn, that sucked. Open up the gates. The walls are useless. I hope Hector's wife can get out. Now it's just a slaughter in the other direction. Where is he going? Jeez. Oh, wow. He's going back for her. Yeah. Literally didn't even cross my <laughs> mind that that's why he was going back. I guess because he knows that they would all be slaughtered. Man. How quickly they just went through this. Even set the horse on fire? It's a long way, quick. The sword of Troy. Find them a new home. I will. It's going to sell that thing. <laughs> I say... We make him wait a little longer! Here they come! Oh. 
You didn't make him wait too long. Oh. Yeah, I was waiting for that to happen. Stabbed him in the back. While he's shouting, have you no honor? I almost lost this war because of your little romance. Man, Achilles is gonna lose his shit. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, be my slave. Oh, she did it herself. Damn, girl. Uh, Better hurry up, Achilles. Achilles. Oh, oh shit. Uh oh. Oh, Paris. Right in the tendon. Fuck. Literally went there to save her. You gave me peace in a lifetime of war. Choice falls. Go. So has Greece? They're probably some other king. Paris is really gonna do nothing and then kill Achilles. Paris sucks. Same place where Hector had his funeral. I lived in the time of Hector. I lived in the time of Achilles. All right, that was Troy. What'd you think? That was great. Yeah, I you, loved it. Yeah, you liked it? Yeah. Brad Pitt, as always, phenomenal. This was a pretty stacked cast as well. The entire film was just like, go, go, go. Like there was so much action going on, but then you had like multiple love stories also going on. And then there was some like mutual respects kind of happening across lines. Yeah, like the villains it's kind of like blurry, you know, yeah. like it, you have complex characters who respect each other, who honestly could fight alongside each other or against each other. It's not so very clear cut. I mean, we have that with Agamemnon. Ag 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 Agamemnon. Ag Agamemnon. 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 He was probably the most villain. Yes. He is a king, but nobody really respects him because of the way that he goes about being, being a king. A king. Yeah. <laughs> and especially the fact that Achilles didn't respect him. Yeah, it's definitely an interesting movie for all those reasons that you said, the mm -hmm. complexity of it. I said before in the intro that I had only seen two fights. It was the first fight where he like kills a guy in the single like stab and then the fight with Hector. Other than that, I hadn't seen it, but then I start to kind of remember the green Greek stories or Greek mythology and mm -hmm. I think this is like Homer's Odyssey I think is what it is and so I remembered oh the Trojan horse and Achilles being only really weak at the Achilles tendon I think that story please correct me if I'm wrong but I think it's his mom dips him in the river Styx but holds him by the ankle essentially so when she dips him in that's he, the only thing that doesn't yeah happen. that's the only thing that's not touched by the water so he's immortal or invulnerable except for his ankle oh. so i think that's how the story goes okay. so that's why that shot goes through his tendon or ankle or achilles tendon so i started to remember that i used to love Greek mythology. My memory is so terrible, but I used to read Greek mythology a lot. It's crazy. I mean, essentially every god just kind of fucks around with humans way too much. Zeus is just like a serial assault person, but it's very interesting stories. So it was cool to see it play out in the big screen, at least for this situation. And I honestly don't even really know how historically accurate this is, if at all, or entirely accurate. I don't know. It's a great film, regardless. <laughs> I know about as much of Greek mythology as you learn in like a semester in high school, I think. Okay. So not a lot and I don't really remember it. I've never liked history. I've never <laughs> pretended to like history. Yeah. Obviously it's very important. It's just not super interesting to me. I'm a science. You're a science mind. person. But this was incredible. Just honestly, all the dynamics of it just made for such a good film. This is a longer film, but I feel like everything was just filled like so perfectly. It, it was so smooth, the plot throughout. I loved a lot of like the love stories. Yeah. Um, obviously Paris was so frustrating. It's hard because I love Orlando Bloom as Legolas. Mm -hmm. it's, it's hard to watch him be such a pathetic loser and be easily the worst person in the movie. Yeah, it's very interesting because obviously this entire war kind of started over Helen and what Paris did. Yeah. But then Paris comes out like he's gonna, you know, I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna be the one to stop it. And with zero experience, number one, but then he like, runs away from the fight. Hector ends up having to kill Menelaus. Me Menelaus? 
Whatever, the king of Sparta. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> please don't roast us for our I, we pronunciations. Yeah. And I mean, Helen stood by his side. She still loved him and they had this like, you know, great love, but I was like- They suck. Yeah, like you guys caused all this. I mean, I don't want to say they caused it. They were kind of like the catalyst because it's something that M.M. and him and wanted to do yeah. from the start. Right. He just needed that support from Menelaus. He just needed the right excuse to do what he already wanted to do. Right. And we also see that in the moment that Paris cowards out of that fight is he takes that opportunity to be like, oh, he broke the agreement yeah. when he had no intention of ever honoring the agreement. Right, he was gonna attack regardless of the outcome of that fight. Right. So it's interesting because you have these super naive, stupid characters in Helen and Paris, and you have the more experienced and wise characters of Hector and Achilles. Like mm -hmm. Achilles, he knows the fighting is for the glory, for the immortality. He's not there to conquer lands or anything like that. And Hector is aware that Things are just too late. You're not gonna go out here and fight for Helen's honor or hand in marriage, and then the army's just gonna leave. Things are in motion, it's done. They're going to fight and go to war with each other. And there was this level of respect between Hector and Achilles, which you saw in the very first like beach landing scene, yeah. where he kind of draws Hector in and then has a conversation with him. He was surrounded. He oh, yeah. easily could have killed Hector, but he let him leave. Right, and I think that Achilles kept that respect for Hector throughout, but as soon as Hector killed his cousin, Patroclus, Patroclus. Okay. <laughs> um, as soon as he killed him, all bets were off. Achilles was just seeing red yeah. at that point. And Hector knew it. That's why he prepared his wife and showed them the tunnel, how to get out of here, all of this. Cause he knew, he's like, he's gonna come for me. And that fight was absolutely incredible. Incredible. Yeah, I love that fight. Watching Hector actually hold his own. I didn't love that Achilles in the very start, like Hector tried to like, hey, like however this ends, can we have respect for the, the person's body who's dead? Right. And he's like, absolutely not. Yeah, I mean, that was, like you said, he was seeing red and he was like, I'm gonna cut out your tongue and your eyes and your ears and you'll be deaf, dumb and blind or something like that. Yeah, he was pissed. Yeah. which sucks because first of all i think they would have been that would have been so cool to watch them fight alongside each other considering achilles didn't have any honor respect love loss for agamemnon <laughs> yeah for agamemnon Agamemnon. <laughs> no, no, no. so that would have been really cool so just a bummer that that just didn't happen yeah but also the fact that hector was like shit like i killed the wrong person i thought that i killed you which should be a respectable thing like achilles should respect that fight right but the fact that it was just a kid that's the interesting thing too it's not like hector was like oops i killed the wrong person it was also like hector could realize that this person was too young for war yeah which is exactly what achilles saw in his cousin too he was yep. just too young so they honestly saw things the exact same way. They probably would have been the best of friends. I know. So it's such a great fight though, because you know the level of respect and knowing Achilles essentially being immortal or invulnerable to damage or something, it just adds to the level of craziness that Hector was even able to scratch the armor of Achilles. And for how long he fought for. Yeah, they fought for like minutes. Whereas when you see Achilles fight, He's just gliding through people. It's it's like a dance, especially the fight with Hector. I mean, it's just so fluid and natural. There's nothing abrupt or unintentional in his fighting. Mm -hmm. So it's just such a great fight between the two. Obviously he drags his body, which kind of sucks, but then you have this great moment with the king of Troy, Priam, I think, Peter O'Toole coming to kind of beg at Achilles, what is it, feet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is something that I think the evil king, Agamemnon, said like, oh, no king would kind of talk to some soldier. Like kings talk to kings, you stay out there fighting. I feel like that was such a huge moment. Throughout he was like, you know, I have no respect for this guy, anything. But for him to really, I think he kind of had the mentality that everybody was fighting for someone that they didn't respect. Yeah. Like all of these kings, like he had this like mindset, these all these kings are the same and all of that. And for him to come face to face with Peter O'Toole and he obviously kissed his hands and he's like, who are you? Right. And just kind of be 
shocked by that. And that conversation was so real and so raw for him to bring up that he knew Achilles father and that he was essentially lucky enough to not live to see Achilles die. Yeah. All of that. I think I shed a tear for it. Like that was such a powerful moment. And and you had a great analysis of that moment too when Achilles is crying over Hector's body of being like, I forgot exactly what you said, but it was like something along the lines that Achilles finally like saw a king that was like worthy of some sort of respect. He saw probably qualities that he appreciated more in the Trojans than he did with some of the other Greek. Right. Excluding his own personal men, which right. he loved. Yeah, he loved his men, which I loved his men. <laughs> Vincent Reagan, Regan, Eudoros. Eudoros. He was in 300. He's the father who loses his son and then goes fucking insane and kills a bunch of people. Yeah, I loved him in this. Yeah, he was great. So good. I feel like those are some of like the top moments for me. Watching Achilles die there at the end was so shitty. Oh, I do want to, I don't want to gloss over the moment that... I thought Prisius. it was a P, uh, Priscius or something like that. I thought it was a P too, but... Uh, let's go with just, because everyone had the Paris, Priam, uh, they had the P going on. Yeah. I'm going to say she was Priscius. Priscius. Something like okay. that. <laughs> Roseburn. That moment was awesome. It gave me kind of like that glimpse of that moment in 300? In 300 when, yeah, the queen kills the traitor, right? Yes. That one you had like a much louder reaction out of me. <laughs> yeah, you were um, super stoked. I was so pumped. This one was just like satisfying to watch. It honestly caught me off guard too because Achilles is right there. Like you, yeah. you think that he's going to come in and kill the king, especially because he already told the king, like, before this war is over, I'm going to look over your corpse. Mm -hmm. Technically, he did do that, but you think that it's going to be him who does yeah. it. Nope. She just pulls that out and just right in the neck. <laughs> it was so good. Yeah. So it was so satisfying, especially just how gross he had been and, like, the threats and things he'd made throughout. So that was really satisfying. But then we move on to the fight. I don't even want to say fight. It's not a fight. It's pathetic. Achilles goes in there just looking for her. He finds her just for Paris to come. And she's like, please don't. And he shoots him. And she's like, please stop. Shoots, shoots him, him again. Like, just keep shooting him. And she's like, stop it. Like, Enough. he's not doing anything. <laughs> and... No, it's... I hate that moment. It was interesting to see Achilles send all his men home. Because he yeah. didn't want them there. Right. He does nothing, I think, to help in any way the Trojans he pretty much goes straight to try to find her yeah I mean he's in the horse yeah but he he's in there because he knows if he doesn't get to her before the, everything burns yeah before everything burns yeah. that she would be killed or worse so it's like he knew he had to be in there to find her to protect her and save her yeah so it sucks because you see Achilles with this very high level of like honor and fighting yeah he slaughters through people but turns a corner and gives back Hector's body he lets all his men go he wanted to leave and not even be a part of this like yeah it's really easy to be on Achilles side especially mm -hmm. when he's in there trying to save this girl yeah and then Paris just fucking shoots him from a distance without him even knowing or looking like he's literally picking up her body to try to carry her and then bang right in the tendon yeah it just seems like after all like the crazy fighting that we've seen achilles do just to watch him die like that Ugh. yeah and it'd be paris yeah for it to people. be paris like the reason all of this happened the coward who ran away from the fight the coward who fights achilles from like hundreds of yards away or whatever with a bow and arrow. Like Hector was not going to stand up on the wall and just fire arrows. He stopped him. I know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, you could call Paris a coward, but I guess technically he did defeat Achilles and he is alive. So mm. his way worked, unfortunately. I'm just not a fan of Paris, I'm not Orlando Bloom. I'm not a fan of Paris or Helen. It's, yeah. it, they really give the vibe of just like super naive teenagers who just fucking got away with it. But they're not. They're too old. <laughs> I don't know how old they are in the story. Or they're probably like 12 or something <laughs> like that. That would make it a little bit more palatable. <laughs> Other than the marriage and stuff. <laughs> well, and then we have, speaking of unsatisfactory deaths, Agamemnon, freaking stabbing Priam or Peter O'Toole's character right in the back. Yeah. Like coward. As he's like saying like, do you have no honor? And then he gets yeah. stabbed in the back. 
Clearly yeah. they did not. No honor. I mean, really, it's it's an s- amazing cast. We didn't even talk about like Sean Bean or Brendan Gleeson. I mean, Eric Bana was great. There was also Garrett Hudlin, who was the cousin of Brad Pitt. He's been in a bunch of stuff. There was just so many people in this movie. They all did a great job. They all had their moments. So for a long movie, you kind of said it, it doesn't really feel too long. You don't really go too far between events without some sort of action sequence or set piece. Mm-hmm. And you have very like memorable fight scenes like when you have the first charging of the wall and like the arrows are literally like cutting a line in the soldiers yeah the storming of the beach was incredibly intense this epic fight between Hector and Achilles the moment when they sent all of those like balls of fire at the shoreline and stuff like yeah. it's jam-packed with very good action sequences and then in between it's laced with this complex story or I guess I should say more complex characters, mostly revolving around like love stories. It fills in very well. Yeah, and there was a lot of great, I don't wanna say one-liners, cause they weren't really one-liners, like just little tiny moments of conversation. Oh, that for were sure. very powerful. I can always go through the movie and be like, that was a great one, that was a great one. Mm-hmm. And I must have said that like 20 times throughout this movie. Some sort of great response or something that was very clever, that hit very well. I can't remember a single one of them right now, but Same. but the movie is jam-packed with great lines. So definitely a fun movie. It got me real interested again in Greek mythology. It's easy to see why this is recommended. Yeah, this has been great. And the films that I like feel like have like the similar-ish vibe with like 300, Gladiator, Troy. And then I think the last on that kind of list of recommendations that we've been getting is The Last Samurai. Which, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know it's not, that's probably like the odd man out out of all of these. But it has come up in the comment section for similar. For these yeah, films. yeah. Yeah, so we will get to that one as well, but I am really glad that we watched this. I really enjoyed this. Yeah, no, it was a great time. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.